What purpose does the gentleman from North Carolina rise? Adam Jackson, so ordered. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for yielding time this morning. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise to congratulate a company in my district called the Ideal Fastener Corporation. Uh, recently, they announced a $5.7 million expansion of their facility in Oxford, North Carolina. Uh, this expansion, Mr. Speaker, will create 155 jobs by the year 2019 and is welcome news for Granville County, which is an important part of my congressional district. Now, Mr. Speaker, 155 jobs in some communities across our great country may, may be relatively small, but in, in this rural community, this is a big deal. Uh, Ideal Fastener Corporation was established in 1936 by Eli Goot and has been a strong member of the Oxford community since moving its corporate headquarters there in 1966. Ideal Fastener Corporation is still family-owned and is operated by Ralph and Mary Goot and their three children, Jeff, Stephen, and Michelle. Uh, since bringing their world headquarters to Oxford, Ideal Fastener Corporation has grown to become the second largest zipper manufacturer in the entire world with production and sales facilities in over 20 countries. They are in the process now of launching three new products and are making major capital investments that will benefit their employees and the North Carolina economy. Uh, Mr. Speaker, on Monday of this week, uh, July 21st, I marked my 10th anniversary here in the House of Representatives. And if there's one thing that I have come to recognize and appreciate is that it's small business and small industries that drive our economy. Companies like Ideal Fastener Corporation are the lifeblood. They are the lifeblood of our economy. And so I congratulate Ideal Fasteners and the Goot family on this tremendous, tremendous announcement. I wish them nothing but continued success in the future. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the time. I yield back. For what purposes? The gentleman yields back. For what purposes?